Today we're opening a Yu-Gi-Oh binder collection. What's up guys, we're back with another collection opening and today I had a binder that someone sent me. They wanted to sell their collection and you guys know how binders go. So I took it all out of the binder. I didn't even know really know what he was sending. I couldn't remember because I've had so many collections recently. A lot of people have been asking me. I've been having to say no recently because I'm trying to catch up and you know, get them all. But we're gonna be opening this one. He also sent a giveaway. It appears to be a slab based on what I can tell. So let's open this thing up. All right, inside we have a, ooh, a Magician's Valkyria PSA 10. This is, I think, a Korean card. Yeah, a Korean card, very nice. So I believe this is for the giveaway. It's just a question mark on it. So it seems like it's a giveaway. So we're gonna be giving this away. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know what you think about this collection. Let me know how much we should pay for it. This is what I always like to see what you guys' opinion on that is. All right, let's go through these. We have a few stacks of cards here. It's a pretty, it was like the binder is completely full. So it's pretty decent. Let's Let's see what we got inside. We've got a bunch of secret rares to start it off. We have a guy at the Dragon Champion, cool reprint. We have the Buster Dragon. It's a bunch of new stuff uh, for the most part. Let's see if we can find anything really cool. We got Alpha the Master of Beast, the Trap Tricks. This just got a uh, reprint as collector rare, so I assume that kind of hurt the super rare value. Dark Ruler Hades. This is really cool because it's the Lost Art. I actually never had one of these before, so very cool looking. Instant Contact. There's a lot of Pote cards in here, which is nice because Pote's a really, really strong set. So a lot of good stuff to get out of there. We got Ready Fusion. We got the Libromancer first appearance. Ruddy Rose Dragon. I think this got a reprint. Yeah, it did get a reprint in the Mega 10, so that definitely hurts that value. Geek Boy. We've got some Manjus, which are really cool, but they keep reprinting it, so eventually it's not going to be worth anything. Dinomorphia Domain was like over 10 bucks last I saw, but I may not be anymore. Vampire Suckers. We got the Animador and Archosaurus for those Dino decks, which are really nice. Dark Magician. We got the Nightmare Phoenix. Pretty cool super rare. A couple of those. Zombie World. Nightmare Cerberus as well. The Decider. Is that a secret rare? Very cool. This card was good in Duel Links for a while. Uh, Gallant Granite. We got number 61. The Blaze Cannon from the Winged Dragon Ara set. Underdog, a couple of those with the uh, the beast guy from Flaming Eternity with Alpha. Very cool. And then uh, Live Tunes, Funny Sunny Snitch has been like a dollar card for a while now. Then we have a Magician's Combination, Destined Rivals. We got a Starry Night Ceremony, uh, Constellar Palladis, uh, Latis. I don't know if that's silent or not. I don't know how to say that card. Bellfire, uh, Legacy Guard Dragon. If you guys like these collection videos, make sure to let me know. We have a couple more coming up, like a really big one potentially coming up soon. So that's going to be really fun opening up some really, really nice cards. And uh, this is always fun to open even if it's just newer stuff because newer stuff is pretty nice as well. Number 76. It's just cool to see all the big hits, you know, that somebody collected over the last couple of years. This is a Seer, Metal Branch of the Burning Abyss. Very nice um, premium gold. What is this third one called? The Return of the Bling? Is that the third one? We got the Chirabini, the Dantes, the Chimera Tech Mega Fleets. This is from what? Armageddon? Yeah, Armageddon. The Chimera Tech Rampage, Cyber Dragon Infinities. Very nice. A Secret Rare Infinity looks really, really good. The gold just, man, they just... Yeah, I, I just don't like the gold, the new gold, at least personally. The real dragon, which a, a lot of you guys agree with me based on, you know, the videos when we do old versus new gold. Witchcraft Hyanna or whatever. This used to be worth a lot. I don't know if it ever got a reprint. Three of those. We've got the Aruru and then the Time Thief Adjuster from Ghost from the Past. All right. So then we have a Time Thief Redoer. These are all in pretty nice sleeves, which is cool. They're a little bit, they're like the Pokemon sized ones, but they're still like quality sleeves. The good thing about the Pokemon ones is you're not really going to ding any corners because the sleeve is so big. Uh, right, so we got the, because that's a problem with the ones that fit perfectly. Sometimes they can ding corners. You got to be careful there. Rank up Magic Force, Immortal Phoenix Gear Frame from Toon Chaos. Sai Cavalry Centuria. Okay, three, four of those. Rise of the Mega Monarchs. Remember when this was like a $70 secret rare and I found one in bulk? If you follow me on Twitter, you saw that at Rex34. Go give me a follow. Found a couple of these. They were worth $70, which was amazing. And then they got reprinted. So now they're like not very much. So Doom King, Boulder Rock, bunch of those. Six of those. Okay, got enough for two decks there. High Ritual Art, the Dramaturge of Despia. Uh, the Farajit, we've got Shining Neos Wingman, some more Pote stuff. We have Avarice, the Genzo Layered. What's that from again? The D uh, Dragons of Legend Complete Series, that's right. The Bahala -la 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 -la. I don't know how do you say that guy. What is that from again? Leoth, that's why I don't remember it, because it's from Lightning Overdrive. Didn't open it, I think we opened like maybe three cases, which is still kind of a lot, but compared to what we normally do, not too much. Quintet Magicians, all right. Still a lot of cards to go. The best stuff is at the end, because I opened it in reverse order, so like the best stuff was at the beginning of the binder. Dark Magician, the Dragon Knight, actually a pretty decent card. Favorite contact from Pote again. A lot of play sets, so we really had play sets of a lot of stuff. Uh, Mighty Ten Ultimus, the Desperado, the Cross Domination. We got four of those. Last Stand, Dark Worm, the Total Defense Shogun. So we got an old school card here from the 10. Very cool. High Speed Roid, Kite. 
Kite Drake? Okay, the blue eyes shining dragon from the movie. Yeah, I wonder if this is like a uh, personal thing like when he was a kid. Kaius the Shadow Monarch, very nice. Sales ban, the ban of the sales. Cool. Fusion deployments, we got another fusion deployment, but that is not the... Yeah, you have the uh, secret prismatic, and here we have the ultra rare. Okay, galaxy cyclone, cool. Down of or panker tops. These are from uh, Dude, which I still have a bunch of these. Like from when I had like I didn't even buy that much Dude, but I had like 15 boxes of it and just kept a bunch of it. More Dude. We have Gamma Seals. I think I sold all of these because they were like worth like three dollars. The uh, Honest Super Rare. I don't know what that's from. It seems like it's from like some sort of deck or something. Is that a Super Rare? I think it is. It's just very subtle. Yeah, it's definitely a Super Rare. Mystic Mine. Oh, yeah. I know you guys love this card. The Mystic Mine. Gold Rare. Not only is it like the most hated rarity of the new like Gold Rare, whatever they call it, Premium Gold Rare or whatever, which I'm pretty sure like they use Premium Gold Rare before and now they use it again, but it's like a different thing. It's very confusing, but it's most hated rarity and then the most hated card. So it's the most hated card of all time. Actually, I might make a tweet about that. That's actually kind of funny now that I think about that. Dragoonity Amorgram. Um, we got the Witch's Strike. El Shadal Window. That's another hated card, but hey, it won the Invoked deck, so I loved it. Uh, Verite Anaconda. Honda, Dogmatica, Ecclesia Virtuous, Nadir, Book of Lunar Eclipse, and the Ancient Warrior, Double Dragon Lords. So far, there's like not anything like super expensive in here. So the value of this collection doesn't seem to be that high, but it does end pretty strong. So we'll kind of see what happens at the end. I didn't really look at everything. I just kind of pulled it all out. Uh, the Baron Blossom, got Mugen, the Rika Fairies, the more Rika Fairies. It seems like this might be like a Rika core or something. There's a lot of Rika stuff. The Toon Terror, I don't know why that's in there. Honest, we got the Dark Magician Girl, the Dragon Knight. Is there any alt art? Yeah, there's some alt art in the purple. Midolce Angeli, the Artifact Sanctum, pretty decent card. Yukiona, the Nice. Myakashi, the Nice, the Ice. Okay, uh, we got Roland, we got Mimikat. Wait, what is this from? Okay, complete series. If it was from the original one, it would actually be valuable. I think it's a secret rare in that though. Fossil Fusion, Specimen Inspection. These are not worth anything. I rem Well, actually some of these cards out of Armageddon were, but mostly they were all cheap. And I remember a lot of them, and you know, it's being bulk. Uh, Schism, good card, but you only play one usually. Comic Hands, we got the Phantom Knight of Fogblade, the Skull Dread, War Rock, Meteor Dragon. That is definitely a very high value card because War Rock's one of the best mar archetypes of all time. We've got the Magician, we've got the Common Dragon. Yeah, so, oh, look, another uh, old school deck card. It sold the Curse of Dragon, another old school card. The Chaos Daedalus, War Rock Mountain. There we go. That's what we're looking for, baby. Nice stuff. Stratos, Blue Eyes Tyrant Dragon, The Prison, Scarecrow All Lightheart. We got a bunch of those. All right, soon we are getting into the good stuff, though. Stay patient. It is coming. Back to Pote. We have more Pote Elemental Hero, Shining Flare, Neo Swingman, whatever he's called. Uh, Fallen of All Boss. Ult not an Ultimate Rare, so probably not great. Sting Lancers. Wait, yeah, these are probably not great either. Dawn of Majesty, we open a lot of this. Open probably like a million of these. Contact C, those are common. So are those actually worth something in common? I don't think so. Cellar Wind, Wolf Freya, there's a play set of those. You Bell, the Ultimate Nightmare, Guardian Slime, Striker Dragon, You Bell, Terror Incarnate. What is going on here? Oh, it's that case that has the circle, then that one seems to be a ripped sleeve. Okay. A couple more of those. These are from Oh, those are Phantom Darkness. That's actually pretty, pretty nice. That's a secret rare from GX, Legendary Collection. We have the Ultimate Nightmare, just a con or a rare version. Interesting. And then a rare version of U Bell, also pretty weird. Uh Selling Glare. I remember this not being worth a dollar. Parallel Exceed, a really nice version. Trishula, the ooh, the Zeus. Remember where, how the mighty have fallen. Zeus used to be very valuable. There's the reprint. The 10 reprints will just kill you, but I still want a Starlight Zeus. I think it's really beautiful. I think Rhyme Style got like a PSA 10. It looked really awesome. Uh, the Vimana, there's another Zeus. Let's kind of put that together. Oh, and we're finally into some big cards. We have Sprite Blue and Sprite Blue. So we got two of those. Remember how hard these guys were to pull? Pretty difficult to pull out of Pope, but like 60, 70 dollars still. I think they were like a hundred on release. Uh, Godi of the Deep Beyond stuff. We got the Celtic Guardian. Might actually be an original. It is. It is. And one main reason you can tell is because of the foil shift. That doesn't happen on the reprints. Uh, Sprite Starter. We get a bunch of these. Very good. And then a Poly and Gigantic Sprite. And that's not all the uh, Gigantic Sprite because we got another one. We got some Sprite Elves. We got the Garura. Just a bunch of Pote stuff. Banshees. Uh, Hyper Psychic Blaster Assault Mode Ultimate Rare. So we did get an ulti in this collection, which is really cool. Galaxy Soldiers. We got the Hertz. Boral in Dragon, a couple of those. Still a really good card, even though it's been printed out of Ghost in the Past so many times, you know. It was a high print set, so didn't really ha hold a lot of value. Number 20, Giga Brilliant. This is a guaranteed ultimate rare, though. Like, they only come, they came, like, as a promo, so it's really not crazy. Still Storm Roach. The Chimera went up to, like, 50 at one point. Hulk Vibrax, now banned, so probably worth, like, cents at this point. Punishment, Revolt, the Fractal, the Gold Rare, Dark Magicians, Blue Eyes White Dragon, Sky Striker is Rose, still one of the best looking versions besides the Starlight, of course, and then the Cypher Gear Gamma. 
All right, we are on to the final part of the collection. It's not a huge one. It's not like crazy valuable, but it's always fun to go through these and let me know what you think about it in the comments. We have the Emergency Teleport, Harpy's Feather Duster out of, I think the God Card deck or the Sacred Beast deck. I can't remember which one. Um, we've got two of those. We've got the Evilzor Lagia. Has a weird like missing gold thing. It's like a misprint or something. Pretty cool. Uh, the Utopic Draco Fusion. Wasn't this crazy for a little bit out of Kaiko? I think it kind of fell off. A couple of those. Uh, Draco Utopian Aura. Ashura Kings. These never were too crazy, but I pulled a bunch of them out of Pote. Chaos Space. This is a collector rare, so very cool. Collector rare. Exo Sister Martha was also a really good one out of Pote. I think it was around like 20 on release, maybe a little bit less. Uh, Danger Jackalope. Joker's Knight. I think this is also a CR, which is nice. Red Dragon Archfiend from the Tin, which is very beautiful. I always like the Tin promos. They always look really, really good, especially on like the Synchro Dragons. Look really nice. Obelisk the Tormentor. So yeah, I guess it was the uh, Obelisk and Slifer decks. Trihorn Dragon, that is a reprint secret rare. Beautiful. Triple Tactics Talents from Mega 10 2021. Still a very good card. Dark Requiem Xyz Dragon. There's another ultimate rare. Uh, Xyz Reflect. Here's a Orcs one. Okay, I don't know much about this one, but it's from Order of Chaos. Cool. Ultimate Slayer. I think we had a play set of those, so very solid card there. Eldritch the Golden Lord. So we're looking at a very big one here. I think he's still around $60 because his only reprints have come in gold and like maximum gold uh, two or whatever, maximum gold and then maximum gold Eldorado. So, you know, not a high rarity that people want. So this is the one that stays valuable. So two of those. Jack's Knight, another collector rare. So we got a few collector rares in this. Forbidden Droplet. I think this is from Duels from the Deep. Yeah. So ultra rare. Look how off-centered this thing is. Very off-centered. Pretty funny. And then a Ghost Rare Dark Arm Dragon, which is pretty cool. And then a Red Dragon Archfiend Ghost Rare. So pretty solid collection overall. I mean, it's a bunch of new stuff for the most part. It's not a lot of old, like this old school stuff that we usually like to see, but still a really nice collection. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing it. If you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. We have more collections coming up, more openings and other awesome stuff like that. So look forward to all that stuff. Shout out to Choice333, Nightshade Gaming YT, Hayden Jameson, Squirtle, Hoppus, Flexi Boy, Dizzy, Ernesto Deanda, Puffins of Doom, TCG Trust of Cards, JT Cho, Tomato Juice, Daxter, Tomefo Show, Ananda High Show, Christopher Ward, Ian Musa, John Nolan, Junior Barding, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Seth Fisher, Stanley, Thomas McLean, and Tone Z. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.